First of all, it must be understood that there is not one right or perfect way to design a horse barn. A design will vary depending upon your needs, preference, your budget, and many other factors. A good solution is a solution that addresses your particular needs. This is how I chose to do it. This may work for you, or it may give you some other ideas of what will work for you. The exterior dimensions of my horse barn are 40 foot wide by 48 foot long. With a 12 foot aisle and stalls on each side, that leaves a 14 foot depth for the stalls. One side of the aisle, there are four stalls, and on the other side, there are two stalls, a feed room, a tack room, and a lounge. A 12 foot aisle is adequate for you to drive a loader down to aid in your chores. The floor of the stalls and the aisle is a rubber mat put over 12 inches of line. The stalls in my case are then 12 by 14 foot, which is quite generous. The stalls open to the aisle in the front and to the barnyard in the back. In my situation, the stalls function more as a run-in shed. The horses have access to them from all the pastures. They are not kept in the stall under ordinary circumstances. They only choose to come in in the morning for grain and during inclement or buggy weather. There are bars between the stalls so they can see into the other stalls. Our horses are on pasture in the summer and are fed round bales in the winter. In the morning when I come to the barn, the horses come in for grain. The horse barn contains a feed room which is used for grain, mineral, and any, uh, any supplements needed. A cart is used to dispense the feed to each stall. The tack room has site-built racks for six saddles. Two by eight solid blocking was attached to the studs inside the wall to provide anchorage for the saddle racks. One rack is removable so it can be hung in the aisle during saddle cleaning. The bridle and halter hooks are made from short sections of round wood attached to a 2x6 which is attached to the wall. A spur rack is also attached to the wall above a shelf for tack totes with brushes, etc. The lounge is 12 by 14 and has a window to the outside. The walls and ceiling are insulated so it can be kept at 40 to 50 degrees in the winter with an inexpensive electric radiator. Liquids that must not freeze are kept on shelving. I also have a table and chairs and a porta potty. The wash rack is located just outside the horse barn. Horses are only bathed when the temperature is above 50 degrees. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button below. The next video in this series will deal with the design and maintenance of the pastures fences and watering system. Press the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified when it's released. Thank you for watching.